Initially, it would have to be John Kennedy. Uh, I was 13 years old when he was elected president, and he was young and exciting and uh, inspirational. And uh, that famous line in his inaugural address, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what your, you can do for your country, uh, stuck with me, through, has stuck with me throughout my life. I'm John Yarmuth. I represent the 3rd District of Kentucky, which is uh, Louisville, and I've been on the Budget Committee for 14 of my 16 years in Congress, uh, ranking member for a little more than two years, and then chairman for four. Oh, I don't think there's any question, but having passed the American Rescue Plan, in, in 2021, uh, the $1.9 trillion plan that uh, I think saved the country from a much more, uh, a much deeper uh, economic decline and uh, helped uh, keep millions, tens of millions of American families afloat economically. Uh, that uh, nothing that I've done in, on the Budget Committee or anywhere else in Congress would match that. We passed the bill late, at, well, early in the morning, two o'clock in the morning or so, and uh, I caught an early morning flight back to Louisville and was sitting at lunch, and uh, the phone rang. It was a number that I didn't recognize, but it was a strange number from uh, 202 area code, but it, was, it ended in 0000. So I thought I probably ought to answer that and answered it, and a very pleasant uh, voice said, do you have a minute to talk to the president? And of course I did, and uh, President Biden couldn't have been nicer in, in complimenting me and thanking me for the work that, that I had done and uh, <clears throat> talked about how much of a difference it will make. And uh, I held it together for most of that conversation, but <laughs> as soon as it was over, I totally lost it because uh, it's not every day you get a call from the president thanking you. I think that the committee has great potential to be, again, a, a, almost an oversight committee on the budget and the financial situation of the country. So when we have hearings, for instance, on immigration policy and how that impacts the budget, uh, climate change and how that might impact the budget, uh, nutrition and hunger and how that impacts the budget, those are kind of um, a, a microscopic look at a, at a bigger issue, and of course a very important one. Well, uh, this is a tough place to get anything consequential done. So when I look back and, and think about what we were able to do, not just with the Rescue Plan and, and the uh, Inflation Reduction Act and uh, uh, many of the other things we did in this last Congress, the CHIPS bill and others, uh, when I think back to 2010 when we passed the Affordable Care Act and uh, realize that how many, again, tens of millions of people now have health insurance who didn't have it before. Uh, I know in my own state, we went from having a very, very high uninsured rate to having one of the lowest in the country. And uh, that's something that uh, <clears throat> I look back very, very uh, proudly on. It's something that Congress really showed that it can do something consequential. You know, my grandson's three and a half years old and, and six months old. Remind me every day that uh, we need to be thinking about future generations and the impact that what we do here has on those. We, we tend to be very, very short-sighted in Congress and often make policy uh, as if nothing in the world is changing. And again, the world is changing very rapidly and, and will accelerate, the pace of change will accelerate even more, even faster. So, uh, again, we, we need to think as far into the future as we can, and, uh, because the future will always get here faster than we anticipate.